In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly and sincerely acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily and meaningfully the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. In silence, let us now lift up to the Lord our personal intentions as well as the urgent needs of our families and loved ones. Let us continue to pray for our sick brothers and sisters, for all the medical health workers, for all who have died, and for the problems and needs of our country. We humbly ask you, Lord, lover of the human family, to pour out more fully upon us the grace of your Spirit, and grant that, walking worthily in the vocation to which you have called us, we may bear witness to the truth before others and seek with confidence the unity of all believers in the bond of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wady and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling, also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had seized David up and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, 
but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with a sling and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from its sheet. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you with a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. Jesus said to the man with a withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. 
the Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to everyone. And welcome to the shrine of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us include in our prayers today our Dominican fathers and brothers who are having their annual retreat. Sa ating binasang Ebanghelyo, ating narinig na galit siya at nalungkot. Looking around at them with anger and greed. Bakit nagalit ang ating Panginoong Jesus? At hindi lang nagalit, nalungkot. Anyari. Kung ipapagpatuloy natin yung pahayag sa Gospel reading, sinasabi dito, nagalit siya at nalungkot dahil sa katigasan ng kanilang puso. Looking around at them with anger and greed at their hardness of heart. Ano ba tawag niya sa hardness of heart? Yung ang tawag diyan, pusong bato, manhid. Marahil, yan din ang ikinagagalit at labis na ikinalulungkot ni Yesus sa ating kanyang, sa kanya mga alagad. Ang ating pakikibit balikat at pagsasawalang bahala sa mga katiwalian na nangyayari sa ating bansa na lalo nagpapahirap sa marami nating mga kapwa Pilipino. Bilang mga Kristiyano, hindi tayo dapat magsawalang kibo Bagkos, dapat tayo magsalita at kumilos para sa kapwa natin nagdadalamhati at iunat ang ating mga kamay upang maibsan ang kanilang paghihirap at pagdurusa. Kung talagang minamahal natin ang Diyos ng higit sa lahat, ang pagmamahal na ito ay dapat nababanaag at dumadaloy sa ating kapwa. Ito ang pinakmainam nating may handog sa Diyos sa araw ng pamamahinga at paraan kung paano natin siya tunay na mapaparangalan at may dadakila. Sa ating first reading, narinig natin yung kwesto tungkol kay David at Goliath. It portrayed the struggle of David against Goliath. It symbolizes our struggle between good and evil. We admire David's courage and trust in God. We are again in a critical period of our country's history. We cannot remain neutral. We cannot remain fence-seaters. If we are to battle against evil in our society, we cannot use evil's weapons. Ano ba yung madalas ginagamit na armas ng mga masasamang tao? They make use of lies. Kaya naglipa na ang fake news at maraming tao nagpapaniwala. Another weapon they use is arrogance, violence, pananakot, at self-interest. Let us not be afraid. Tulad nga ng paulit-ulit nating sinabi kanina sa responsorial psalm, Blessed be the, the Lord, my rock. 
God is on our side with our Blessed Mother as our powerful intercession. Hindi tayo pababayaan ng ating mahal na ina. Kung titingnan natin yung kasaysayan ng Kristyanismo, pinatunayan ni Mama Marian sa Lepanto, pinatunayan, pinatunayan ni Mama Mary sa Lanabal, pinatunayan ni Mama Mary sa Edsa. Let us place our ultimate trust not in our own strength, but in God's help, as I said earlier, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Ipanalangin natin sa ating Panginoong Yesus na baguhin niya ang ating puso ng kanyang pag-ibig upang malaya nating mapaglingkuran ang ating kapwa at makamit ang tunay na kagalakan sa ating pagdiriwang ng banal na Eucharistia. Please stand. Christ liberated us from the destructive powers of evil and sin so that we could be free to cooperate in spreading the good news. We ask God for this grace and blessing. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, and freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show concern to those who are suffering so that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead and those who mourn their loss may see hope and comfort in the resurrection of jesus let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer loving god we claim to belong to you and to your son help us through your spirit to love you by caring and making other people happy we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for as your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one face and one baptism, we might become His body. Through Him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner He might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we confidently pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, <clears throat> that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, the genuine <clears throat> fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We will now pray for all our sick brothers and sisters. Those who are here present, kung katabi ninyo yung may sakit, 
ilagay niyo yung kamay sa kanyang balikat o sa kanyang ulo. Sa mga kasama natin nagsisimba online, kung katabi ninyo may sakit, you may likewise do the same. Put your hand on his or her or her head or shoulder. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now bless your rosaries and other religious articles. Mas kinablesan na inyo mga rosaryo, pwede ulit mabless yan. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.